Hello students, welcome to Allen Overseas. My name is Tarun Kamavat and I am the head of Academic Counseling Department. Today we are here to guide you about the NEET UG 2025 application form filling process. In this session we will be giving you all the essential details that you require to complete your registration and application process for the NEET UG 2025 exam. So let's begin. Students, as you can see that the application process started on 7th of February and will last till 7th of March 2025. The correction window will open on 9th of March and will close on 11th March 2025. If you can, please take the screenshot of this slide because it contains some essential dates, fee details, examination dates and shifts and the websites. So, you don't miss out on any important detail later on. So, let's begin. To complete or begin the registration process, you need to go to need.nta.nic.in and this home page will open up. You need to select this option and it will take you to the registration page. As you are coming here for the first time, so select a new registration and this will take you to this page. These are some general instructions for all the NEET UG 2025 aspirants. Make sure that you download the information bulletin and go through it completely. Although it contains many pages and it has so many details, but if you need any detail or any help at any point of time or any step, remember we are always with you. You can always reach out to us on our academic helpline that is 830-6013-111 and our NEET experts will be available to guide you. Once you have gone through all the details, Please check this box and click here to proceed. Now at this point you are beginning the registration process. As you move on to the next page it will demand your personal details. Students make sure that whatever details you are filling at this point they should be according to your grade 10th mark sheet. You need to fill in your name, your parents name, your guardian's name, your date of birth and your gender. You need to re-enter all these details in order to confirm. And let's move on to the next step. The next step will demand your present address. It should be your current country where you are residing. In your case, it might be one of the countries from the Middle East. Make sure that you have the address proof available with you because you will have to upload the address proof in the coming steps. Now, this step will demand your address details, your country, your state. If you select any state or any country, you will get all the city options accordingly. And then you need to enter the PIN code. At this point, you need to fill in your electronic communication address. This is your email and mobile number. Remember that you will receive all the details like your admit card, your city intimation details on these electronic communication addresses. You also need to provide an alternative contact number. This should be different from the contact number you provide at this point. Now, at this point you need to fill in your permanent address. If it is same as your present address, please check this box and if it is not, then fill in the details accordingly. Remember, you need to fill in your mobile number very carefully, even if it is a local mobile number which is uh, from your current address or from the foreign country, please fill in the details accordingly. The OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number and the registered or provided email address. You need this OTP for the later stages in order to confirm or validate your details. After completing your address details, it's time to make a password for your profile. These are the criteria to complete a strong password. Once you have made a password, please confirm it and then select a security question. You also need to answer that question and then enter the capture. Before moving on to the next step, make sure that you write down your password and your security question and its answer on a separate piece of paper. Click a picture of it and share it with your parents so that you have these details saved whenever you require them for later process. 
after providing all the essential personal details, you need to check all these boxes and click on I agree. This means that whatever details you have provided are correct according to you. Remember students, you will not be able to make any change in your personal details beyond this point. So, if you think that you need to review your details or you need to make some changes, please click on edit registration form. If you are sure about all the details, click on submit and send OTP. Once you click on it, it will take you to this page. These details will be autofilled and you need to provide the OTP which is sent to your registered mobile number and the registered email address. Once you provide the OTP here, click on submit registration form. Once you click on that, you will see this page and it will have your application number and your name. Now to begin or to move further, you need to select or click on this point. From this point, you are beginning your application process. Now, the very first step of the application form is register contact details, which I have already done. You need to click on register personal details and it will take you to this page. As you have already given your personal details, these columns will be autofilled. You need to select your nationality at this point. Remember to select it as per your documents. Now, select your state. I would like to read this disclaimer for all the students because we have got a review that many students are getting confused at this point. The selection of a particular state as the state of eligibility is purely provisional for appearing in NEET UG 2025 examination and does not guarantee admission in the state. The allocation of seats will be governed by the guidelines issued by NMC with respect to admission in the MBBS course for the post examination and counseling process. So, students, remember this state has nothing to do with your state of eligibility or the exam center allocation. But still, if you have any confusion, we have already given you our academic helpline number, you can reach out to our NEET expert. Now, let us move ahead. You need to fill in all these details and then select your identity type. You need to select one document that you will be registering as your identity document. Once you have selected, you need to fill in the details and enter the captcha. Submit and move on to the next step. The next step asks you about your APAR ID. Now, if you have one, select yes. If you do not have any, then select no. A power ID is not mandatory for NEET UG 2025 examination. Now, students make sure that whatever details you provide at this point are correct because you will not be able to change them later on. You will not be able to change your question paper medium beyond this point. So, please select it wisely. And in your case, I think it should be English. You need to fill in other details and move to the next step. Now, these are the cities available outside India for the NEET UG 2025 examination. You can take a screenshot of this slide so that you do not forget these details later on. Now, the next step of the application form demands your educational details. You need to provide your 10th grade details at this point, fill in carefully looking at your mark sheets and then move on to the next step. If you are a 12th grade appearing student and will write the exam in coming months, select appearing as an option. If you have already passed grade 12, then select passed as the option. For appearing students, the code will be 01 and for the students who have passed grade 12, the code will be 02. Fill in the other details accordingly and then move on to the next step by clicking on save and next. Now, at this point, you need to provide some additional details and then select your place of birth and then your state and your district. Enter the captcha and then click on save and next. Now, the next step of the application form demands the emergency contact details. Remember, you need to provide the contact details of a person who can be contacted in the case of emergency. You need to fill in a valid mobile number with the country code, a valid email address and then enter the captcha and click on get OTP. 
students remember these contact details I mean the mobile number or the email address must be different from the contact details or the email addresses you have provided at the time of registration since it is an emergency contact. Once you have completed all these steps these details will be autofilled. You need to provide the OTP and click on verify and next. After completing all the steps and providing essential information, the next step will ask you to upload the respective documents in order to validate your details. As you can see that the very first step demands your passport size photograph. Students remember one thing, all the size and dimension and formats are given over here. So please remember that all your documents must meet these criteria. You need to upload your passport size photograph, the thumb impression and the fingers impression of your right and left hand, your signature, your postcard size photograph. Remember your postcard size photograph should be as same as your passport size photograph. Only the size will be different. Your class 10th mark sheet, your class 10 certificate. If you don't have your class 10 certificate, you can again upload your class 10 mark sheet at this point. You need to upload your address proof. If you don't have any valid address proof, you can always contact the Indian Embassy in the respective country where you are living. You need to upload your identity proof as well. Now you need to remember one thing, if you have chosen any other identity proof apart from your Aadhaar or DigiLocker, you need to upload the document as the proof of identity. But if you have chosen Aadhaar card or you have verified your identity proof through DigiLocker, you need not upload any document here. Uh, and I think that's this option will not be visible if you have uploaded or chosen Aadhaar card as your identity proof or if you have verified it through DigiLocker. So as you can see this is the sample of a passport size image. The size should be between 10 kilobytes to 200 kilobytes and the format should be JPEG and this should be, the, the passport size photograph should cover your entire face. It should be clearly visible with a white background. Now, as you can see, this is the example that how you are going to leave your fingers and thumb impression on a piece of paper. Students, remember, you need to leave your thumb and finger impressions onto three to four different pages. And which one is clearly visible? Use that. Then you need to upload your signature and it should be visible like this, clearly. Now, once you upload all these documents and click on Save and Next, the next page will be a review page of your online application form. This pop-up message will ask you to review all the information that you have provided and once you close it and move on to the next step, the next step will ask you to validate your registered email address. You need to provide your registered email ID in an enter captcha and then click on submit and get OTP. Now after verifying your email address, you will be taken to the payment page. You will have to select an appropriate payment mode, credit card, debit card, or maybe net banking, and then click on proceed for payment. Students and parents, please remember one thing at this point. Do not click on refresh or any other page once the payment is being processed. Once the payment is done, this page will open up. This page will have all the details that you have provided during the registration and application process. Make sure that you take a printout of this entire document. Also save it in the soft copy and share it with an email address or with your parents. Now students, this is the completion of NEET UG 2025 application process. If you need any assistance at any step or if you have confusion about any detail, we are always with you. As I've already told you that we are available on our academic helpline number that is 8306013111. Our need expert will be assisting you for any help that you require. That's it. Thank you so much.